Well, with those colder temperatures here, a lot of us will spend the night in the comfort and warmth of our own home. But the homeless population here in Central Texas isn't as fortunate. 25 News reporter Jarrell Baker tells us what city leaders and organizations in CLEAN are doing to help. If you've been outside today, you know it's chilly in Central Texas. As temperatures plunge even further tonight, it can be devastating for those without a home. We were hovering right around the low 40s uh, in our numbers, and last night we jumped to 58 folks. As the weather gets a little bit colder, we tend to have more people seeking out our services. We're still in the middle of the pandemic, so how do you protect people from the virus and at the same time keep them warm? We had spread our beds out a little bit, which did diminish our capacity. Um, however, we are able to accommodate larger numbers right now simply because um, it's needed. Our local homeless are getting some desperately needed help from local towns like Colleen, where they've opened the community center as a warming station. Cold is different all over the country, um, but especially here in Texas, it's important for us to make sure we can open a warming center so that anybody who doesn't have a shelter has somewhere to go and at least get out of the warmth, um, whether that be because their car broke down, whether that means because they don't have housing. Local organizations like Families in Crisis say the homeless also need coats, gloves, sleeping bags, and other winter clothing. In Bell County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. Jarrell, thank you. Colleen Community Center will be open as a warming station from 10 p.m. tonight till 10 a.m. tomorrow. City officials say the warming center doesn't offer full sheltering services.